seven, you recreated what you were doing with the imagination. Yes, yeah. please. We'd love to hear about that. Okay. Phase okay. right. three was becoming Berkeley Playhouse. So up until this point, now the imagination players was bursting at the seams. I probably had maybe 80, 90 kids going through summer programs and they were always doing shows, full shows. And we had a, a school year program. And I was working as hard as a human being to work and yeah. I just, that was so good. And at the same time, um, I was missing working with adults. I was a trained professional actress, director, producer, and I loved the kids. It was the core of what made me feel like I was doing work that mattered, but I missed that other piece. So my husband, Tim, who was still on the board of the Julia Morgan, uh, said, what's your dream next? And I said, it would be to create a professional company that together with the imagination players would create this kind of dual mission organization. We were producing professional shows that are not for kids. They're intergenerational shows that create access points for everyone that are multicultural casting where the diversity of the Bay Area is reflected on stage. What completely had gotten me was a, a Cinderella, maybe from the 80s movie, uh, Cinderella, with Ruby Goldberg and cast of amazing, uh, beautiful, multicolored actors. And I'm like, that's what our theater should look like. And then I got in touch with Kim Dewey, and I said, Kimberly, please, please direct my first show, this is called, and this is a fun story. Well, A, she was nursing her newborn infant. B, I was very pregnant at the time, this is 2006, later, with my fourth child. And she's like, you're crazy? I've never done a show. And I said, I've seen your work. You can do this, we can do this. And so she agreed to direct Susical. And in the fall of 2007, our first show, I had a newborn baby. I was in the show. I had my imagination players in the show also. One's the guy into the show. Kimberly was directing all of us. I was nursing in the back. Kimberly was nursing in the front. And we had a problem. When we started Susical, we were planning our first season. We were so successful that we had to shut down. We couldn't keep up with the level of traffic and questions and excitement about the company. Berkeley Playhouse had hit this chord with people. And people were scalping tickets and on Craigslist saying, how can I buy it? And I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is gonna work. But I didn't have the instrument. So we had to stop down after season felt. We were still doing imagination players and we put the full first season the next year so we could catch up with the demand. And the rest is history. By I think 2008, we couldn't be at the Berkeley uh, Ashton stage anymore because um, we had run out of that space and we rejoined with the Julia Morgan, which we were still board members and still very much trying to figure out how to help bring life to it, especially after the initial five year funding of the Lincoln Square Institute happened. So the Berkeley Playhouse merged with the Julia Morgan, the Imagination Players were in there, and now all three of these things coexisted in one magical organization, which was the Brooklyn Playhouse at the Jolie Morgan. Could you share a few highlights that come to mind? What has really inspired you? What gets your computer going? What are those moments that just they, they are indelibly pressed upon your goals? There are a lot. Um, a melt my heart moment, like this is what we were here for, was doing Bridges, which was our new work which was extremely hard and it took a long time and actually wasn't even able to direct it in my condition. And I worked with the most talented people you can imagine and watching this new work that was about civil rights, was about the importance of gay and lesbian and transgender rights, was about marriage, was about love. That, those were tears that were pretty powerful. That was a very special experience. Um, directing Tarzan was one of these other highlights. So um, three years ago, four years ago, four years ago probably, I directed Tarzan and my way into Tarzan was that it was about interracial adoption, transracial adoption. And I had just adopted my little beautiful daughter from China. And that kind of softness way in and looking at that beautiful show 
through the eyes of a parent who was just so vulnerable and in love with her daughter. And there was something about our cast. We were all so in tune with each other. It's one of the most incredible experiences. Not only was the show gorgeous and magical, but we had a couple of nights where we all looked at each other and we were doing, you know, musical theater. And there was something about the music and the story where we all felt so, so connected to each other and so lucky, so lucky to have the Berkeley Playhouse as a place to be able to be with each other and share with this with the world. And then I would say the other 50% of my like melt memories uh, are hundreds because in directing all of, I did a lot of, I think I counted, I did like maybe five shows and many of those were youth, my youth stage. Every time there was a kid, one, two, three kids that I worked with that blew me away, that grew so much, grew so much as a human being, as an ensemble member. I mean, I can't even tell you how, how it never fails. If you put down the right like structures, kids will do anything you ask of them. And the structure and the project-based design of doing musical is like the most youth-centered way to get people to tell stories and get outside of themselves and shy kids and, and strong kids and weak kids and I mean just every kind of kid can come alive with the love and the support of the social emotional curriculum which is so important to us. Meaning there are no divas. We are always working in telling the story and saying that the ensemble is more important than the people who have more lines and more songs. And um, you know, just watching our kids feel so good about themselves and reach these markers and deal with their fear and share their spark of life on that stage. I mean, I'm always, always crying and always feeling um, this is what we were meant to do. And this has been one of the most important calls.